Um, so thank you to Lori, first of all. I don't know how she keeps up with all of this stuff, but, but the fact that she takes time out of her and away from her own business to be able to pull these events together for us um, so that we can network is a big deal. Um, and what I want to talk about today is just a few things. Um, I've put them on a paper, so I'll, I'll leave those with you guys if you want to take them with you. Um, just a few things on what you can do with the networking piece, because it's a big deal to me for growing my business. And um, obviously, if it wasn't for you guys to grow your business, you wouldn't be here. So whether you're with a you know corporation and you're out and you're doing some community um, marketing and trying to get involved in the community, or whether you're just trying to grow your own individual business, um, these events are a big deal. So these um, kind of four things or five things that I've put on the list today, four R's are kind of how to rejuvenate your business, reinvent your business, um, or repair your business, or just kind of re-motivate yourself going into 2019 to grow your business. But one of the first things on my list was um, when I sat down and started thinking about this was how to get rid of all the energy vampires. Um, and it's a big deal whether you're with a company and you're trying to you know, bring on new people or retain people or whether you're working for yourself and you're just out in the community and people knock you down, oh, you can't do that, or how are you doing that, or nobody does that, or what are, what are you doing to grow your business and how you can step away from those people. So I know we've all heard it, but if you work for yourself like I do, You'll get phone calls in the middle of the day. Hey, Melissa, I'm, I'm tired of the work. Can you go pick up the kids? Or can you go mm -hmm. run this for me? Or whatever it might be. And those people are monopolizing your time. And I have a job too, you know, just because I work for myself and I'm not, you know, going and um, meeting people or doing networking events doesn't mean that I'm not actually working in my business. So just kind of cutting those people loose for 2019 so that you can really focus on growing your business. Um, second thing was knowing your why. It's so important to know your why. Um, some, some of the girls in my you know, that I work with on a daily basis really kind of get into doing the, the uh, I guess, your want board or what your needs are for the year. A lot of the guys will just write it down so they can see it every day when they come into their office or when they're leaving their office. I'm not a very crafty girl, so mine's just written down as well. But, um, you know, is it purchasing a new home this year? Is it, you know, I want to get out of debt? What What is your why? Why are you going after this business every single day? or why you're trying to improve. Um, that way, when you've had a bad day, if you're networking or you're going out trying to get business and you get a lot of no's or your business isn't growing at the pace that you would like it to for the day, you come back in and you look at that board and you know exactly what you're going after. So you get back up the next day and you do it all over again. Sure. Um, the third is marketing and finding your own referrals. Um, this one is probably the main point from today. If you're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, knowing how to combine those things so that you're making one post that's going to each one of those social media sites uh, will help you streamline your business. So you're not having to go to Facebook and make a post. You're not having to go to Instagram and make a separate post. You're not having to go to LinkedIn and make another post. Um, it is a big deal for a lot of businesses. And just responding to people um, when they do go, when they send you a message on Instagram or LinkedIn. So a lot of times, you know, we have these resources at our fingertips, but what we do with it once we leave here is a big deal. So like Lori said, you're going to get some business cards today. I'm surprised every single time I leave a networking event where somebody leaves with a stack of cards, but I never hear anything from that person. And it's, you know, whether, you know, I'm here for business consulting. Part of that, I do, um, you know, act like benefits. You may not know anybody that needs that. You may not want, you may have been running your own business for 10, 15, 20 years. You may not need any business consulting. But I'm talking to people every day who do need your services. So if you don't take the cards that you get today or you don't, uh, you know, respond when somebody likes a post that you make on LinkedIn or you or you on Facebook. It's as simple as somebody can like your post and you saying, "Hey Daniel, 
Thank you for liking my post today. Did you like it because you like the material? Would you like to see more material on this? Do you want more information on this? Just going one or two levels deeper with anybody that's paying attention to what you have to say, because there's a reason why they stopped to like your post. So now you need to find out why. Take it, take it another level. Um, <clears throat> so that was one of the things, thinking outside the box, I actually had just, it's Alex, right? Yep. Okay, nonprofit organization. I just moved back to Murfreesboro a year and a half ago, spent 12 years in Greenville, South Carolina. And one of the first things I did was start looking for people who were in nonprofit organizations. That lady talks to everybody. She's looking for donations. She's looking for people who want to come speak. She's looking for people who can help her. She's looking for businesses, small businesses, large businesses. Um, people who are involved in the community, and those are people who want their businesses to be recognized. So, go after some, go after people who you don't think, um, you know, may be able to provide an immediate fix or immediate uh, business for whatever you're looking for. Kind of like um, we were talking about this on the way up because we rode up from Murphy's for all together. So, you, uh, Julie Roberts, walking in that that shop that day. Everybody knows that movie, right? Um, you know, she walked in, nobody paid attention to her because they didn't know what, she didn't look like their normal customer. You know, you meet somebody out today, they've got on their jeans and they've got on a t-shirt and they don't look like the business owner that owns that multi-million dollar corporation right down the road. Talk to people, get your name out there, talk to them, tell them what you're doing, share ideas. Even if they can't provide an immediate business partnership with you, they know people who can. So ask for that. And the last thing was um, be a referral e, which you know I make up words all the time. So <laughs> um, you know I, I put that on here. I was like, yeah, I just made that up. But you know um, along those same lines, just making sure that you're giving to other people within your group. So we're all here today. We're all going to get cards. Um, I'm going to reach out to every single person that I pick up a card from today um, because two weeks from now you may run into a business owner or you may be out in the community talking to somebody who needs the services that I can provide. Um, you may also have some referrals today. So make sure that you're, if you see a post where somebody's looking for a plumber and you've met a plumber in one of your networking groups, Tag that person in that post. If you don't ever take the time to do that, people aren't gonna take the time to do that for you. So it's all about just being in the community, getting to know as many people as you can, and really just going a level or two deeper with um, you know, your, your events that are in front of you and being able to grow your business. So thank you for your time. I hate that you're videoing me and it's going to be on Facebook, so hi to all of Facebook, um, but I love being here, so do you guys have any questions? Did you say you had to be now? I do, I do, yeah, I, I typed it out, so I was like, well, I could get up there and get totally off track, and then they'll be like, what did she talk about? And, uh, yeah, never, never get to the end of it, so thank you guys, appreciate it.